What's up guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today and the headline here read, 70% of medical doctors in Kano have abandoned their duty in fear of the pandemic. Alright guys, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. Here are the news in details. Public affairs analyst Mohamed Jamo has revealed that 70% of the medical doctors in Kano State have absconded and left their duty posts. The analyst revealed this information in an interview with Channel Television on Monday evening. According to Jamo, these doctors are scared because they have not been provided with the personnel, personal protective garments they can use in protecting themselves. He also went on to say that the only cases the state hospital have been attending to are those sent to the accident and emergency units. When you go to this hospital, you'll find out that quite a large number of people waiting to even see the doctor. The doctor in the accident and emergency section are crying because they are suffocating. There is no motivation. It is very hard. It is a very sad development happening in Kano, he went on to say. Mohamed Jamo also stated that the state government was more political than proactive in its response to the COVID-19 outbreak. There was no specific training or treatment given to the medical doctors in Kano, and even the state governor keeps saying he has identified three, three isolation centers in Kano. According to the analysts, the three isolation centers were already in existence before COVID-19 pandemic and nothing new was in place. President Muhammadu Buhari, however, said in his nationwide broadcast on Monday evening that the federal government federal government medical professionals have been drafted to Kano State to help contain the spread of the pandemic. So guys, uh, that is what is happening right now. 70% uh, of uh, medical doctors in Kano have fled because of lack of you know, adequate protective equipment to protect themselves against the pandemic and if you look at it it is not just only in Kano state if uh, countries like Italy and the United States as protective as they are but the doctors we keep hearing that the doctors in this country get infected it could be by one mistake or the other but they get infected you get me so how much more the case in nigeria where we don't even have the protective equipment you go to hospitals you see doctors and nurses actually are protesting that they don't have even sanitizer ordinary sanitizer they don't have so they, they it becomes a problem you get me and this pandemic has really engulfed the entire Kano state and is spreading to sister state like Kan Kaduna and other nearby states so this is very serious because there are majorities in this state you understand me have carried this they have tested positive like the imagery that were actually um sent away you get they were removed from Kano state and most of them and, and they were taken to their respective state of origin most of these Amajuri, they have tested positive. So it's a big problem, guys. It's a very big one. A situation whereby 70% of medical doctors who are supposed to be in the battlefield to face this coronavirus have absconded and left their duty posts is a sorry situation. You get me? So this has further exposed the corruption in Nigeria in the medical sector. You get the health sector have been have long been you know have long been a, 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 a abandoned. You get our politician corrupted the entire sector and any money left to the um, you okay you are in budget you hear how much they will allocate to, to to medical sector but nothing to show. Even I can remember even as uh, last year when when Aisha Buari went to. Axel Rock Clinic. There was not even anything like Panadol. The first lady screamed, the video is there. She screamed. And Abba Kiari was the one in charge of the medical sector in, you know, in Axel Rock. She was in charge of the uh, rehabilitating the, uh, the, the, the hospital in Axel Rock. But you see, this is the sorry state of the country. You get so how are they going to do? The pandemic in uh, in Kano State, as of today, as I'm speaking to you, it is yet to be ascertained whether it is really 
coronavirus but i think a lot of people are of the view that it is coronavirus but however people are also of the view that it might not be a coronavirus but it might be the result of the vaccine that have been tested in africa remember france a medical and uh, france medical doctor proposed that even if a vaccine is to be released that they are going to test it in africa first you get so africa now become the guinea pig to use in testing all their experiments and even when the chinese doctor came from uh, from from china during the lockdown a lot of people protested the medical sector protested that this chinese doctor should not be allowed into the country you get because there have been no effect of them there is no positive effect when any country to go to fight coronavirus there have been no positive effect but rather you even see an upsurge of the coronavirus in that country like for instance in in italy when chinese doctors went to italy in fact they there was a spike you get me in the fatality rate in italy so the thing they need to be, people are postulating that the outbreak you understand me in kano the pandemic that has broken out in kano may be as a result of the testing of the vaccine that have generated another kind of some people said is as the result of illegal removal of sanusi from the throne you get so that may have been but that one too may not be the case because um sanusi's uncle have been removed before but nothing actually break out so that one is not the case but what we are looking out here is that there have been several predictions that in africa the street of africa is going to be littered with bodies of dead people as a result of the corona bill gates said it in fact big gate even estimated it to be nine million that's what bill gates said other people have been saying it you get so now we are afraid could it be that this prediction is what is coming to pass and it has started in kano and you look at again this kano people their religious by their religious attachment has made them so blind to reality you could imagine their imam telling them that they shouldn't mind the coronavirus to come to worship in fact you could even see residents you know i mean the these muslims fighting with the police because the police tried to bar them from going to the mosque because their imam tell them to do so. So it's a very sorry situation that uh, people, you get me, are so sold out and the government is doing little to nothing about it. So this is a sorry situation, guys. It's a very pathetic situation where corruption in the country is very serious that 70% of medical staff have fled their duty posts because the government is not ready to fight coronavirus. There is little to no effort at all. No funding has been made by Kano state government on their own. You get, and even the existing, the existing uh, isolation center, according to report, is said to have even been existing even before the COVID-19 outbreak. So this is a very sorry situation. We just pray that uh, this coronavirus should be brought under control because even the lockdown itself, like Kaduna State, have extended the lockdown by another 30 days. That's one month with no palliative at all. They have not. They are not ready to even give up palliative their palliative they are giving out is at the end of the day is hijacked by the few people is hijacked by the politicians themselves it doesn't even go on if nepal bill could go from door to door and reach everybody even at the very remotest part of the state or the country nepal bill could reach you then what about the palliative People have suggested that people should be given to this money should be paid into people's accounts. And what was even proposed was 100 billion, 100 billion with 40 million Nigerian who own bank accounts. That means if you want to divide it, 250,000 naira is going to be paid to everybody that owns a bank account. And that will help to cushion the effect of the coronavirus. You get it? We have to question the effect of the lockdown because right now what is staring us in the face is not the coronavirus but rather is as a result of the hunger virus. Statistics will not be carried out to know how many people who have fainted, how many people who are currently sick, how many people who have died as a result of hunger virus. You get So this is a very sorry situation. Corruption in Nigeria is exposed and we just pray that the government should do something quick at in this kind of incidents something should be done very quick i've watched a video of a muslim man 
washing his hands, you know, something and drinking the water just to prove that there's nothing like coronavirus. That's to show you the psyche and mentality of those people. They don't believe in uh in some of the sickness and that is why you see polio outbreak in the north and all of that because they don't believe in, in all of this you know vaccine to vaccinate the baby right from when you are small and all of that so that is it what do you guys think this is a tv we bring you the latest news you get me so make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting that red subscribe button and then you also click the bell icon beside it to stay updated with all our latest news and update so i wanted to drop your your comment below let me know what you think about this thank you very much this is the Malcolm tv god bless you all